thing is, right, on, on that Drake, Rick Ross, Kendrick Lamar shit, I think that shit dumb, my nigga. Like, I don't know why them niggas is beefing anyway. Them niggas is millionaires, bro. Like, niggas is millionaires, billionaire, billionaire type niggas. Why is niggas arguing and don't, I don't, I don't know. I, I think it's something deeper that we don't know about and that none of, it's none of my business. But I feel as though, like, the game, like, I don't know, bro. Like, I just miss when the game was back in 2015, 2016 type shit where everybody, like, I seen all them niggas come together, collab, do more features and shit like that. I don't know. That's just me. You feel me? And I don't understand Rick Ross and Drake, how they fell out. I don't know, bro. Like, I don't know. I don't know. And it's none of my business, but I'm just fucked up about that shit, my nigga. I hope they rekindle that shit and get back to it. You know what I'm saying? Because that shit just weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, Drake and Ross, come on, my nigga. Like, stop it. Drake and Ross, my nigga, is beefing. This shit, the world fucked up. Something between them guys must have happened that, that, that I don't know, bro. That shit, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's marketing. I think it's really, I think it's really something serious. I don't think that shit marketing, bro. Because niggas is talking about niggas' kids, families. All t it's like, it's getting devious. It's getting real devious. So I don't think that shit no marketing shit. I don't think there's no conspiracy behind marketing. Them niggas got money already. How much marketing do they need? How much attention do they need? They already get attention. You know, now they beefing and shit? I don't know. I just don't know, bro. Like, that shit just weird to me, bro. And it, it surprised me that Drake and Ross, like, them niggas is, when they get on the joint, they crazy on the joint. That shit go dumb. That shit go bonkers. You feel me? That shit go bonkers, like, so I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know if the, them niggas fighting for the throne, some shit. But them niggas, and they, I don't know, man. That shit just fucked me up a little bit. But I really do hope Drake and Ross and Kendrick, they sit down at the table with no violence and just come together and talk, my nigga. Like men, you know what I'm saying? Just talk, see what the problem is, you know what I mean? Meek and Drake did it. I, I, I'm, I, I'm quite sure, I'm quite sure fucking um, Kendrick, Ross, and Drake could do it. Drake and Meek did it. Drake and Meek is cool. You see Meek, he ain't stepping that shit. So they cool, you know what I mean? So I don't, I don't know, man. You put niggas in a hard place. And I don't, I don't like that shit, man. These niggas got to pick sides and all that shit. If I fuck with a person, I fuck with a person. I don't care who you beefing with, who you got beef with. That ain't my beef. I fuck with you. I fuck with them. I fuck with everybody. I stay out that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, period. Period. I stay out that shit. I don't let that shit consume my... My, my train of thought my way Because I, I want to be positive You feel what I'm saying Because all that negative shit Is out the window That negative shit Don't live here You got to leave that negative shit at home Leave that shit at home If you woke up on the wrong side of the bed today Go pray Go drink some cold water Turn on that air conditioner high Cool off And chill You know what I'm saying God bless you There's some people in this world Who didn't wake up today There's some people in this world Who blind Missing an arm Missing a leg Fucked up With life Type shit Ready to commit suicide type shit. And we be complaining and shit. It's way worse. It, people dealing with way worse out here. Of the bullshit we deal with. They dealing with way worse. So we got to be thankful. Be thankful. Just be thankful. Don't take this shit for granted. Be thankful. Be thankful and know that God is real and God is going to bless you. Just pray. Stay real. Stay solid. Be your own person. Be yourself. And he's going to bless you. He's been blessing me for years. Years and years and years. So I don't never go, I don't never, I don't never sugarcoat that shit. He been blessing me, you know what I'm saying? To do what I need to do, to 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 to, to celebrate my wins, to you know, celebrate my success and keep going. Cause there's always peaks. There's always peaks of life when you when you when you're dealing with this shit, you know? And there's always a new excitement, you know, there's always new excitement. So you gotta be ready for that shit. I got um I got the video, the OK remix video is dropping tomorrow. That shit dropping tomorrow. Put out more music, yeah. I, I definitely. All you gotta do is go to Spotify, Apple Music, and go look up all my records. You know what I'm saying? Fly Away is one of my biggest joints. Fly Away, Waste Time, More Than Friends. You know what I'm saying? A whole bunch of shit. So. You know, yeah, to keep, yeah, to keep the crumbs away from us. You got to keep the crumbs away. Because if you let the crumbs indulge in any type of activity that doesn't involve them, they're going to fuck it up. They're going to watch it crumble. Yeah, appreciate you. I got movies on Tubi. Trust Nobody 1, Trust Nobody 2, Trust Nobody 3. These men are for everybody, power and money. And I got another, and I got another movie coming real soon that I'm about to start filming in September. Bow. Let's get it.
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we outside. You know what I'm saying? We ain't, you know, we ain't no crime activity. How did you lose that weight? I mean, you know, I stay healthy and shit like that. You know, I'm about to, um, what I'm about to do is after the 4th of July, seriously, on my children, it's going down on the gym. I'm focused. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to go. I'm about, I still go to the gym right now. I'm going to put a deposit down to work out two times a week. Two times a week. That's all you need. Two times a week. Eat right. Eat your vegetables. Drink your water. And you're going to see results. You know what I'm saying? You're going to see results. You're going to see results. Like I said before, I don't even, me too, I don't even eat the crumbs. Fuck that. I don't even eat the crumbs. I hate the crumbs. Tomorrow gonna be a lituation. We performing at Coney Island. We performing, uh, we at Starless Tomorrow Dream. Uh, Saturday, we at South Beach on Steinway in Queens. After that, uh, what else we had on the 6th? On the 6th, after Steinway, you know what I'm saying? After party gonna be at motherfucking um, uh, Sweets. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Files going down. You know that Lung Smacker is outside. Lung Smacker is outside. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole Green Magic. They got that motherfucking Summer Dream and they got that Happy Smacker. You heard? Yeah, it's going down. It's going to fuck down, you know what I'm saying? Tomorrow we, tomorrow we chilling tomorrow. We chilling tomorrow. Pop out on me if you want to pop out on me. Just DM me right now. DM me right now. DM me right now. Stop being... DM me right now. If you want to pop out, you probably going to get two black trucks. You probably going to get two black trucks. You know what I'm saying? So DM me right now. They said sweets got ratchos. I like sweets, though. I fuck with sweets. Out of here. Hey Lexi. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to text you. Uh, part of them. Positive waves, positive vibrations, positive thoughts, positive outlooks on life. You know what I'm saying? Cause this shit could be a lot of worse. You know, shout out to everybody out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, no cap. And thank you, baby. I appreciate you. Cause you so cute. You so cute. Thank you, baby. I appreciate you. Um, you know, like, because I, I have been told in the past I was ugly and shit, but I really don't care, though, because I know my kids is beautiful, so that really doesn't have an effect in my life. It really never did, but yeah, we outside, we not going in. Yo, I don't give a fuck about none of these niggas, bro. I don't give a fuck about none of these rap niggas, none of these niggas, bro. I don't give a fuck about none of these niggas. I want a bag. I want to take care of my children. And I want to be put up. I don't give a fuck about none of these niggas. In my life. I don't give a fuck about none of these niggas. I'm not excited to be around none of these niggas.